I'm in a literal ghost town in the middle of Bolivia. And, I, and it's on the way to the U, Uyuni South Flats. Back there is the remnants of the city. And it's very interesting to think of how we may become irrelevant if the product or the service that we offer eventually ends up being phased out for whatever reason and we are unable to adapt so the gist of the story of this town is that it used to be a trading post on a railway from chile to bolivia and it was an important trading post where people used to trade coal they had a market here where everyone traded the things that they planted but eventually the trains stopped cold turkey being coal so they stopped being based on that kind of energy and became motorized so instead of using locomotives the new trains were diesel diesel electric and basically the town lost its meaning its purpose and they simply couldn't find another thing to do to stay relevant so basically people just fled the city the little town and went to live elsewhere because there really was nothing for them to do i'm looking down because there are some um, footprints some kind of birds probably i'm not sure which animal it is i'm not sure if you guys can see but there's this little cemetery back there and it seems like a little lake or something i'm not sure if i should go too close to it actually because i'm straying a bit far from town but i was interested in knowing what the hell there was here so yeah this happens a lot really um, things becoming useless in a sense things becoming obsolete irrelevant and people not wanting to buy not wanting to use them anymore think of things like i use this example of the the coal trains but yeah, it happens time and time again with energy sources. It's happening right now with um, gasoline cars and diesel cars as well, kind of being forced in a way, but it's happening. Yeah, it's really odd over here. I think well, we might end up passing by this lake afterwards anyway, so. Yeah, there's a cemetery, there's this lakey, swampy kind of thing. Going back to the city, great city of Hulaka. And yeah, think of how many things were made obsolete. For instance, when the original iPod became a thing, became a hit, and how many things ended up becoming obsolete, how changing the paradigm of the music industry so that people already were using p2p i'm um, downloading and piracy um to to get their the music but then apple came and created itunes and started selling each song bit by bit instead of selling the whole album like they used to do and that was a big paradigm change for the, the music industry and the record industry in general, especially the record industry. And then how Spotify came later on and also changed the whole thing because they started paying a little fee to stream the songs. And of course that wouldn't be possible before when the internet wasn't that good and people wouldn't be able to stream things before so things end up we need to to have the technology 
to be able to do certain things. And the gist of this is to make you think a little bit of the things that you offer right now and the things that you pretend or you intend on offering in the future and how you can think of things that are evergreen, things that aren't that prone to becoming obsolete and knowing that this happens all the time, that you may end up becoming obsolete because of a paradigm shift like it happened here in Hulaka and it also happens all the time really in many industries this kind of things happens time and time again so think about the things that you have to offer and how and the things that you will offer in the future probably and the skills that you want to acquire and try to use the the Lindy effect in your favor so think of things that are probably gonna last for a long time or things that are probably gonna hold their value a totally different side note this city became really just a, a stopping point for tourists going to the Uyuni Salt Flats so they sell some weird stuff like this cactus beer and it's, it's really not that good it cost me 20 bolivianos that would be probably yeah i heard some guys in my group saying it was like three euros so yeah about three dollars or something and really it's just because i'm here and it's different but it's not worth it <laughs> really it's 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 just because it's different but yeah, that's another thing with business, right? There are things that you will end up buying, you will end up using just because of the fab, just because they're trendy at the time, but they're really not worth it. So I need, I really need to go right now. I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit around the actual town, what's left of it. So here we have some, little houses that they used to use that's uh, where they used to store some water for the trains that would stop here incoming and outcoming there's also an old train obviously phased out and they have a couple of stores slash bars where you can use their wi-fi you can buy these cacti and um, they have quinoa beer as well and beer with salt from the salt flat so overall yeah it's interesting it's an interesting experience to come to a place like this and to think about how we may struggle to become and especially to maintain as ourselves and our business is relevant from time to time because cactus beer won't cut it Coal trains won't cut it as well. On the long run, you need to find the things that are subject to becoming Lindy um, reliable or things that will withstand the test of time.